Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a few things that I bought recently within the last couple of days or like last week and all that. I don't know, just stuff I bought recently. But um, so yeah, I want to share it with you. Um, so I'll start off with, um, oops, um, from Ulta I had picked up last week the uh, Real Techniques Your Base Slash Flawless Core Collection from Samantha Chapman who's a pixie blue sister here on YouTube and it comes with these four brushes one is like a little tiny bristly brush I don't know what you would use this for maybe like spot concealing like tiny little areas and a smaller foundation brush the other set that I got comes with this bigger one and this one is a little bit smaller and then I bought and then it comes with um this little like dome shaped um, I guess you could use that as like high, for highlighting, maybe for blush, contouring. Um, yeah, I think it's a cool brush. I haven't used it yet, but um, yeah, I like it. It's really, really soft, and I like the size of it because it is perfect for those areas and not just for blush. And then it came with this um, like flat top. It says it's a buffering brush. But I use it for my foundation and that's why it's a little bit dirty. Um, I'll put a little bit on my hand, you know, swirl it in and then I'll buff it into my face. And I really like the way that it, the finish that it gives me. I like it a lot better than using like a duo fiber brush like this. This kind of leaves your face really, really streaky. And you have to work at it a lot longer. Um, when you use a brush like this, it's a, when it's a lot more dense, it kind of buffs in um, the foundation on its own. And you don't have to try as hard. And what else did I get? Um... I wanted to try these. I never heard of them. They're by Natural 24-7. They're um, oil control blotting tissues. And they have, um, what is it? They're unpowdered and unscented. And they're, I guess they're just supposed to be just like, you know, basic blotting sheets. I like them. I've used a couple of them. So I got those. I'll show you... I'll show from Ulta what I got today, or just right now, like I just got back a little bit ago. So they're doing this 21 Days of Beauty, and today is um, they're offering their Too Faced Shadow Insurance for $9, and it's regularly $18, and you can buy two. So I bought two of them. So it's pretty much like buy one, get one free, because if you add them together, they're $18, but uh, yeah. Um, I bought this once before and I didn't really like it, but I figured I would give it a chance again and since you get two, I can have one for my own personal use and then one for my kit. So yeah, and Too Faced is cruelty free. The little bunny on the package shows it. So I got those. And I got a few nail polishes. One nail polish I've been wanting to get for a really long time and then I finally just gave in and bought it was the Orly um, Enrage. It's like a really pretty like uh, rose gold kind of. It's like it's like as if it's a pink, pinky bronze um, color nail polish with silver glitter in it and it looks really, really pretty. And then Ulta's nail polishes right now are $2. I'm not sure when it ends. So I picked up a couple of those. I got um, High Roller which is a really pretty like bronzy gold color and this glitter nail polish in pinata yada yada which it's just a multicolored glitter which I think this might be a dupe for um Deborah Lippman's birthday party nail polish because it looks like it has pretty much the same kind of glitter all different sizes so this could be a dupe for it and it's only $2 right now. They're normally $6. So if you want to pick up any of their nail polishes, I would do it now. And then I picked up this NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in 721 Fuchsia. It's just pretty much like a nude kind of pink color. I've never tried any of their um, Jumbo Lip Pencils. I have a bunch of their eye Jumbo Eye Pencils, but I've never tried a lip one. So I really wanted to try this and see how it applies and all that. And then I picked up... Um, the EOS Lip Balm in Strawberry Sorbet. And I love these. I have the Passion Fruit one, the Lemon one. Um, I've gone through like a couple of them. And I think this was in a set with another one that was like purple. But I've never been able to find that one. Like they had it on, at Target 
online but it was sold out and then uh, people have said that they got them at like Walgreens or CVS but I've looked everywhere and I haven't been able to find them so now they're selling them individually I think so um I picked up the, and these are like $3.29 at um Ulta and then I think for buying the shadow insurance that you get a free gift it's the Too Faced flat bookie powder and blush brush I'll show you what it looks like it's really soft just a tiny little like kabuki and it's like flat so it's actually really big though it'd be good for like blush to travel with and stuff or even powder you could probably even contour with this as well because of how um thin it is i don't know if this is full size or not it doesn't really say i think it is so that's what i got from ulta today the other day when I went to the mall as well, I picked up the new Urban Decay 15-year um, anniversary palette. I haven't got a chance to use it yet, but just like just looking at it is so pretty. It comes in this really pretty like metal kind of plastic. It's probably plastic, but it looks like metal. And inside it has a mirror. I haven't taken the paper off yet. And then these are all the colors. They're so pretty. And then this one, I haven't even used them yet, but this one looks kind of messed up, but whatever. Comes with Midnight Rodeo, Midnight 15, Vanilla, Flow, Chase, Tainted, Junk Show, Omen, Evidence, Deep End, Deeper, MIA, Ace, Blackout, and Half Truth. And these are all brand new colors that they haven't already had in their line. So I had to get this. And then the case that it comes in is just so cute. It's like a little velvety case. I saw a girl on YouTube. I don't remember her name. But she used this as a jewelry like box. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Put all my like everyday jewelry in there. Oops. And these are all, this is limited edition. So they're not going to have it for very much longer. I don't, well, I mean, it just came out. But they're not going to have it for like a very long time. Like I wish I would have got the 15 year anniversary eyeliner palette. but Or eyeliner set. But I never got a chance to pick that up. But oh well. And now on eBay it's selling for like over $100. The other day I went to Sephora. And I had um, birthday money from when it was my birthday in August. And so I spent my birthday money there. And I picked up two blushes from NARS. The name. The first one is Torrid. It's a really pretty like coral with oh, it's a really pretty coral with some a little bit of like gold shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see in the camera. But it's real pretty. And I love NARS blushes. I love how pigmented they are and how um, easy they are to apply. They don't look streaky when you put them on and they last forever. Like I've had um, this NARS Angelica, this pretty pink one, since I was like in high school and I used it like every day I was in high school and I still use it to this day. I have it in my like everyday makeup um, little container and yeah, these things last forever. So yeah, they are kind of expensive. They're like 20, how much are they? They're $27, but mine has lasted me years. So I think it's a really good investment. And then the second one that I picked up was... Matahari number 4004 and that's what I'm wearing today uh, I don't know if the light's washing it out but it's a really pretty like pink purple it's it leans more on the purple side more than pink I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but it's really pretty I've been I've been wanting a purple blush for a really long time I have a beauty powder by MAC that's a purple one but um like I've said before, MAC products do not do good on my face, so I don't even use it anymore. So I was looking for a really um, a really good purple blush. And then because it was my birthday, they gave me um, this Happy Birthday Beautiful by Philosophy uh, shower gel, shampoo, and bubble bath. And this is six, ounce, six fluid ounces, so it's a pretty big bottle. And that's what I got some from Sephora. The other day I went with my boyfriend to the LA County Fair. So I was like walking around and then there was like this random stand that had like a bunch of makeup. Like a bunch of drugstore makeup. And I was like, is this stuff stolen? Because 
why are they selling it at the fair? But, um, I don't know. It was like in bulk. So maybe they bought it in bulk and they're like just selling a bunch of it. I don't know. But, um, one of my favorite eyeliners is the Hip, um, by L'Oreal. And this was my old one. Look how disgusting. And like it randomly one day just like shriveled up. And I was like, okay, I've had it for a long time. So I'm not even going to try and like revitalize it. Like how people say like, oh, don't throw away your gel liners. You know, you can fix it, blah, blah, blah. I don't have the time and patience for that. So in that makeup stand, they had a pack of two of these for $7.99. When one of these is normally like. $13 or something so I was like I cannot pass up on that I kind of want to go back and get the other one because there was another one there but I don't know when I'm going to go back to the fair and if I am but this is one of my favorite gel liners like people say it's comparable to the to max fluid line I've never tried that but it is so creamy like you barely even have to like dab it in there it's kind of like it's like frosting like it's so smooth and it doesn't leave um like, you know when you put eyeliner on, sometimes, like, liquid, and if you go over a spot, like, over and over, it starts to look kind of, like, chunky or, like, you know, layery. This doesn't do that. Even if you go over the same spot, it'll look still really smooth. Well, as long as it's still kind of wet, it hasn't completely set, then it'll look like that. But So, I got those, and then I picked up a nail polish from there as well. Um, I don't even know how much this was. Probably a couple bucks they were selling it for. Um, it's the Sally Hansen uh, Complete Manic Salon Manicure in the color I Pink I Can. There's the name. And it's just a really pretty like bubblegum pink. I'm really excited to paint my nails in that. And then they had a bunch of hair products too. And they had the Rockaholic Born to Rock Leave-In Detangler and Defrizzer. And it's a full size bottle. And this was only $7.99 too I think. And I know this... I don't know how much this retails for, um, you know, if you were to buy it at like Ulta or something, but I'm pretty sure it's more than $7.99. So I was like, I cannot pass up on that either because sometimes when I get out of the shower, my hair, like my hair's still wet right now. I'm just going to let it air dry. But um, I sprayed some of this in my hair today and uh, I could just smell my shampoo. I don't really smell this, but this smells like, kind of like um, candy and just like a, kind of like a, sal I don't know, like a salon kind of smell. I don't know. It smells really good. It doesn't smell bad. Sometimes hair products, I don't like spraying on my hair and just like layering on stuff because then it smells really bad. And then the last thing that's not makeup related, but I still wanted to show it because it's so beautiful. Um, I was just walking through, I don't know if anyone's ever been to the LA County Fair, but they have like, um, like shopping, big shopping centers. And I was walking past one and it was they were selling like all this Hello Kitty and like jewelry and stuff. And I was like, I have to look because it was like pink and glittery and that's my thing. Um, they had this necklace and it says Barbie on it and it's pink and it's rhinestone and it is so pretty. Um, I love Barbie and I thought it would be so cute. So, yeah. And my friend Barbie, if you're watching, hi. Um. I knew you would like this, so I wanted to show you as well. It's so cute. And it was only $25, I think. And it's like really heavy, like it's like solid. And they had another one that was silver and for, um, it had a little, it was silver rhinestones and it had like a little pink lip for the eye. So I kind of want to go back and get that one. They had a couple other ones too. So yeah, they were really cute. This was really cute, so I had to get it. So yeah, that's everything that I bought. If you guys have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.